The Ports Joint Trade Union Alliance, in a show of support for Black Week, protested at the Khan Clock Tower in Colombo during the lunch hour on Monday. Sri Lanka police and the riot police were stationed at the location. However, the protest took a peaceful turn. If Ranil Vikram Singh and his government do not listen to the voices present here, we will close down the port without any prior notice. One person did not listen to our voices during the struggle for the East Container Terminal. The first cannon to send him home was fired from the Colombo port. If they do not listen to what we have to say, the port will also fire the first cannon that will send Ranil Vikram Singh also home. On the 9th of June, the port workers stepped out. Similarly, the port workers will take to the streets again if the tax law is not withdrawn. All the professionals will join hands in this struggle. We are ready to remove the Ranil Rajapaksha government and replace it with a people-friendly government. We will provide leadership for that. The Ceylon Bank Employees Union is a faction that forms the professional trade union collective and they handed over a petition to the President's office urging the government to immediately withdraw the unjust tax regime. Heavy security was in place around the President's office and several trade union representatives were given the opportunity to enter the President's office and hand over the petition. They handed over the petition to an additional secretary to the President. We made it clear that we need to discuss the tax and suspend the implementation of this income tax from this month's salary. If the government decides to impose this tax on the January salary, the Ceylon Bank Employees Union will support the trade union action launched by other trade unions in the country. Bank employees were seen wearing black in support of the Black Week. The Federation of University Teachers Association is another faction that forms the Professionals Trade Union Collective. During a media briefing on Monday, Futa commented on the police obstructions towards the march in Colombo last week. This is a blow to democracy. The existing laws are being abused shamelessly. Using election laws to prohibit something that is not even remotely connected to the election is a gross abuse of the law. A majority of those who were seen were police personnel, and that costs a lot. On one hand, the government says it has no money. However, on the other hand, they are spending on suppression. This clearly takes away the validity of the government's policies. The Federation of Teachers Associations and the professionals are not against paying taxes. What we say is that the tax policy needs to be reasonable. The government is trying to use this tax to recover the money that was lost due to the ad hoc and corrupt activities of the previous leaders and officials as well as the tax revenue lost to the country by awarding benefits to close associates. If they continue with this process, all professionals will take to the streets. The minor staff across multiple government hospitals protested on Monday, citing several issues including the unbearable cost of living and the medicine crisis that has crippled the service The Joint Health Workers Union was supported by several other trade unions, and the main protest took place opposite the Colombo Medical Hospital. This junta is trying to use the election to divide the people and avoid solving the issues of the people. They are trying to secure funds from the IMF and create a normal environment for a month or two by distributing coconuts and rice to the people. They are involved in a conspiracy to call for election in such a situation and reclaim power. We will not fall victim to those conspiracies. Bear in mind, the people remember the 9th of July. The minor staff at the Colombo South Teaching Hospital in Kalabovina also protested. <laughs>
The cost of living is unbearable. We cannot afford the transportation costs. Bank interest rates were unjustly increased. All the government hospitals fired the first cannon today. All the hospitals will also proceed to launching trade union actions. It is impossible to breathe in this country, let alone survive. What is the president telling the people? The prices of goods are increasing and the patients do not have medicine, but the ruler is saying there is no money. However, he has money to appoint new ministers and buy tear gas canisters to fire at the struggles. However, he does not have the money to secure the rights of the people. A protest also took place opposite the K. Gaujin Air Hospital. The Government Medical Officers Association is also party to the Professionals Trade Union Collective and it also extended its support to the Black Week. GMOA members of the Colombo National Hospital showed their protest by wearing black bands. Black flags were also raised at the premises of the Colombo National Hospital. The GMOA demanded that the government withdraw its unjust tax regime and solve the medicine shortage that is crippling the health service. The GMOA obtained signatures for a petition to urge the government to address these concerns. <laughs> We highlighted the means to solve the medicine shortage and the crisis. However, it was disregarded. There is no plan on when to solve this crisis. The medicine prices are rising at a rate faster than the depreciation of the rupee. A separate mafia is in operation and looting continues. This was the public response at the Colombo National Hospital. The diabetes strip, which was 5 rupees, is now 105 rupees. The injection, which was 400 rupees, is now 2,800 rupees. We cannot afford these prices. We are innocent farmers. I have never spoken to a mic before. I am expressing my pain. The situation is such that we will have to live on the streets. They are increasing the number of ministers, but there is no relief for us. I underwent a bypass surgery. I have to wait in line for my needs. The politicians do not love the country or people. Doctors also protested at the Colombo North Teaching Hospital in Ragama. The GMOA obtained signatures for the public petition at the Ampara Base Hospital and extended their support to the Black Week.